Yo, what's going on? In this video, I am going to be sharing a beginner's tutorial for Real Estate Royale in Yakuza 0. This is really going to help you out, so don't miss it. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get more views on your YouTube gaming channel, go to growonyoutube.com forward slash free chapter right now. When you go over there, you'll get to this page and you'll be able to discover the secret to getting more YouTube views with a free chapter of my book, A Gamer's Guide to Greatness. This free chapter will teach you how to use video SEO to bring more views to your gaming videos, how to make your videos rank on the first page of YouTube, and how to build a YouTube gaming channel that grows consistently. So definitely Definitely go to growonyoutube.com forward slash free chapter and start growing your YouTube gaming channel today. All right, finally got rid of those annoying bastards who kept on trying to fight me. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better and I'm going to basically walk through the things that you need to know about real estate royale in order to do the best at it. So first of all, in order to purchase other shops, uh, when you first start out in this first area, you need to do it on Tenkaichi Street. Generally, I believe there are a few shops that you can see around here. Uh, no, not here. This is Sapon Street. I meant to go to Tenkaichi Alley over here. And yeah, like this shop here. So here you'll see the prompt in the top right hand corner when you see a prompt that says look. That means you can look over there and you can probably invest in the property or purchase it. So here we will just purchase this property as, you know, why not? I want to purchase as many properties as possible so I can take over this area. And yeah, that's that. So we just purchase. We just beat those guys up. Why are they trying to fight us again? Oh my God, that is so annoying. All right, I've showed you how to purchase a building off the street. Now I'm getting off the street because it seems like people just want to fight me in every direction and we need to stop that. So in order to actually access the real estate royale mini game or to actually, you know, deal with all the money and stuff and all the people that work for you, you need to go to the Sujita building. I will open up the map and show you where it is. It is, uh, we cannot show you here. That is, that's annoying. Let's go outside <laughs> and reload this. So here the Sujita building is right here. And in order to get to the Sujita building, it's basically here. Like it's this little blue thing and you unlock it. Um, I don't want to spoil when you unlock it and all that sort of stuff. You, you probably should know. If you've got to this place where you're watching this tutorial, you probably have unlocked it. But basically you unlock it eventually. And then this is where you go in order to deal with the Camerucho Real Estate Royale. Now, I will quickly read through the menu controls to let you guys kind of understand what's going on here. And then I'm going to go through this and basically show you how it actually works. So let's go to help. Camarucho Real Estate Royale. In Real Estate Royale, you purchase and manage properties to build up your funds with the ultimate goal of bringing down the five billionaires. Manage your holdings from Kiryu's office by interacting with the city model on the table. You can also check the status of your properties by selecting business from the pause menu. I'll show you how to do that after. So, managing real estate from the office. You can do the following through the office menu. You can start a payout collection for each area. You can collect profits from each area, assign a manager and security to each area, and send advisors to properties. Manage your properties using these options and you'll soon be raking in huge profits. Now, I'm still in the first area, although I've, I kind of understand, well, I understand how it works now, basically. Um, so, if you've just started out, this video should help you out a lot. Starting payout collection. Select real estate royale management and press triangle to display a payout collection confirmation window. If you have assigned a manager or security guard to the area you want to collect from, their salaries will also be listed. Select yes to confirm. Collecting profits. Sometimes, sometime after collection is started, the gauge will fill and you will be able to collect your profits. 
The funding gathered is based on profit forecasts and economic trends. However, sometimes things will not go smoothly. Problems may arise during the collection process or you may be challenged to a money battle while collecting your profits. Collection profits, collection problems. If a problem occurs, the collection gorge will freeze. I said gauge before, now I'm saying gorge. That annoys me. We're going to stick with gauge. You'll be unable to collect profits until you go to find out who's causing the problem and subsequently deal with them. By the way, in the comment section, guys, how do you pronounce gauge? Is it, do you pronounce it gauge or gorge? Leave a comment. You have to kind of use, what is it, uh, phonics to show me how you're actually saying it. That'll be very, very interesting. So yeah, that's what happens with the collection problems. Your collection gauge will freeze or gorge. Which, which way did I say it? Did I say gauge? Are we doing gauge? I think we're doing gauge. Your collection gauge will freeze and you're not able to obviously collect profits until you actually deal with the thing that's stopping that. So money battle. Sometimes when you collect your profits, one of the five billionaires will challenge you to a money battle. The manager assigned to that area will try to counter the effects of the billionaire's aggressive investment. But if their HP runs out, you will lose the targeted property. Protect your property by, protect, by pressing X to invest your own money and restore the manager's HP. Assigning staff managers. You can assign one manager per area. They have the following abilities. Financial savvy. Counts as HP during money battles. This only recovers when a manager is not in use, so switch them out often. So it seems like if they're on one, then they have one HP. That's not great. Economic influence shows the manager's effect on economic trends in the area. The higher value, the better. The number of the left on the left is the starting value and the one on the right is the final one after four collections. Now, the way this works is after each collection, that orange selector on the, that, that started on the left move to, moves towards the right. And when you actually basically make your managers or security guards rest, that moves towards the left again and i think I, i'm unsure if it goes all the way to the left or if it's as many collections like if it's all the way to the right and you do one collection it moves one way to the left or it just moves all the way to the left i'm unsure on that 100 percent, but i know that when they are resting it moves back to the left which is very very important you'll need to remember that so assigning staff security. In addition to a manager, you can also assign a security guard to an area. Each security employee has the following abilities. Problem solving. Shows the ability to resolve issues during collection. At high levels, guards are more likely to solve problems on their own. Safety influence. The higher the value, the fewer violent encounters will transpire when walking in an area. The number on the left is a starting value and on the right is the final value after four collections. Sending advisors to properties. Send an advisor to visit a property to help make improvements, upgrading its rank in the process. Select a property first and then an advisor. You will have to pay for their services, but the earning potential of a property will improve as its rank rises. Each advisor has different abilities and areas of expertise, so select the right advisor for each property. And I'm going to show you how to actually know, you know, where the expertise in your advisor is. We're going to go through basically all this stuff. So first of all, I have a payout ready. So I'm going to press X over here on real estate royal management. And I'm just going to press X and get our money because why not? And then. Oh, we're having a money battle. Oh, we need to. OK, we we <laughs> we successfully protected our properties. It seems with the money battle, all you got to do is tap X. <laughs> So that's good to know. This is a, that's actually my first time doing a money battle. So it's nice that I learned this while teaching you guys how to actually go through real estate royale. So we done a money battle. Basically, the security stuff, you, you'll have to go and deal with a fight and your collection will basically stop while that's happening. But we've got more than 50 percent of this area. So it makes sense for us to see money battles. So really, what I want to do now is press X again. So in order to do that, you go to real estate, rare management, you press X, that brings you into selecting the areas. We've only got one area, so we'll press X again. And here we can actually see our shops. And if we press R1, we can see our staff. And if we press L1, we can go back to shops. Now we'll teach you how advisors basically work. Now, I cannot, in I cannot invest in this shop because it's already rank S. But here, this shop is rank C. And basically what you want to do is 
the different symbols, the way they work is circle means that person's good at that. Triangle means the person's okay. And X means that person's terrible. So that's how you know you know, which advisor to invest in, in which property. So as you can see, it would make most sense for Crazy Keo to invest in this property for us to send that advisor because he's got a double circle, which means that he's very good at this. So we'll actually send him to invest. It really doesn't matter about how much you're paying them and that, and that sort of stuff. You really want to focus on who's best for the job unless you're really, really poor. And then maybe you don't wanna, you don't wanna spend too much. So we've done that and I'll basically go through all of this to show you how I'd go through it. I'd just pick the person who has circle for whichever, you know, icon the orange selector is on. So circle, circle, circle all the way around. Worst case scenario, you pick triangle and you just keep going. Uh, I think all we've got is circles for this at best. So there we go. And you'll get, you know, your stores ranking up, which actually makes you more money. So it's definitely worth investing. Don't don't feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't invest because I'm poor or something. This will make you a lot of money. It's really worth investing into all your properties because it helps your properties make even more money than they're already making. And these are already making millions. So that's pretty nice. So let's go back in here and let's go to the staff. Now, right about now, our manager is on minus two that is not good whatsoever we really do not want to leave this manager on duty because we're probably going to deal with a lot of money battles and, and stuff like that if we leave her there so we can pick between two other managers it seems we've got two other guys this guy is the the best decision here it seems you know it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a choice because this guy has level two financial savvy, which is good, but this, which will actually help the economic thing. So we'll actually make more money if we send this guy out. But this guy has good economic influence after one collection. So after one collection, this guy will be on one economic influence and then he'll have another one and then it'll go back to zero. Whilst this dude is always on zero until it goes to minus two. And I think the economic influence actually also no financial savvy is for the the money battles the economic influences you know gives you another is is a percentage on top of the money that you actually get paid out when you get your payout so we'll we'll pick this guy because it's just going to be better for us in like the next two collections and we'll assign him and if we go yeah she needs to rest for a little while so that her her collections go back up or her economic influence goes back up because you really don't want to be putting anyone with minus one or anything on duty zero's not too bad because it's just like not affecting either way but minus is really really bad so in security We've got this dude who's on zero and he's gonna be on zero until he's on minus two. And then we've got this dude who's on minus one and he's got one, <laughs> one level one safety influence. And then the rest is just minus one, minus one, minus two. So we might as well just chill with this guy who's on zero until it goes to minus two. And then, you know, when this guy's approaching minus two we'll switch him out and we'll bring in this guy so that we can get to that minus one and then we'll probably switch him out and bring in the other guy who will be on zero again so that's how we'll do that and remember when you switch them out they actually rest and the i think that's orange the orange selector moves further to the left so we'll pick this guy and these are the people who will basically have working on this. And then you just press triangle to start collection. And it tells you how much it's going to cost. We've got two people who are getting paid a thousand, a hundred thousand yen, which isn't that bad. And we should make 32 million yen on this collection. So that's actually pretty good. And then now it's out for collection. So basically you just need to wait until the, what's it called? bar fills and i'm going to basically forward through whatever this movie scene is because i don't want to have any spoilers but when the bar fills then you'll be able to collect your payout as i showed you when i first came to this place and collected the payout so let me quickly walk through this and i'll show you how to check 
where your payout status is at when you're out and about in the pause menu. All right, so in order to check your progress while you're out and about, you want to press options, then go down to business and then you'll see the payout here. You'll see that people are out there collecting the payout. Everything's going okay, not too bad. And yeah, once that gets to payout complete, then you can come back to this building and you'll actually, you know, get your money. And that's how that works. So I hope I have explained to you well enough how to basically go through real estate royale, how to make some extra money. It's definitely a great way to make money, which can then be used to upgrade your abilities and stuff. And another great way to make even more money to invest in the real estate is to beat up the shakedown men who you'll find on the road. They're like these huge guys who if they beat you, they'll take you take all your money. So make sure you've purchased everything that you can buy before you fight them so that you don't actually lose anything. But those shakedown guys, Mr. Shakedown, that's their names, um, will generally have, you know, a, a nice amount of yen for you to steal from them and then invest in your real estate properties and buy more properties, invest in more properties and that sort of stuff. And the more properties you have, the more money you will make. So I am actually walking around because when I stop, um, a little dialogue thing comes up at the bottom of the screen, which is like a minor spoiler. So I gotta keep on moving and this may look weird to you guys, but that's the reason that I'm doing it. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next Yakuza Zero video. Peace out. If you wanna learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20K SEO course. In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long.